Hey guys, it's Sasha from Scratch with Sasha and today we are going to make a dress up game. It will be an easy game and it will take some time to make. So let's get started. So first we are going to need a character to dress up. So we are going to need a, we are going to need a boy or a girl and we will also need the outfits that they are going to put on. The outfits, the accessories, everything. And we will also need a nice back, uh, nice back backdrop to get started. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, do all of those, and I'll be back in a minute or two. Okay, we have got everything that we needed. We've got a nice backdrop. I've also chosen this girl, and we've got all the outfits. They all look very nice. Now let's start coding. So first I'm going to code the bow tie. Because it's first in line. So I've already uh, coded but I'm going to show you again. So we want this. When we click on this sprite. We want it to go and sit in a position on, on uh, Harper's head. Somewhere like here. Okay, but before we do any of this, we have to make sure that Harper is secured and will not move. So, I might move Harper here or there, but then everything will uh, not fit perfectly in Harper's body. Let me show you it later. So first, when the flag is clicked, Harper must go to X. Um, let's see. X minus 157 and Y minus 4. So, when flag is clicked, her Harper will stay in this position. And she has to be in front of the background. Then that won't move. Okay, so when you click the bow tie, it should go and fit on Harper's head right here. So, we have to code the bow tie. I'm click. I'm gonna code it like uh, when this sprite is clicked. When the bow tie is clicked, it should go to X. Um, it should go to X minus one ninety and Y eighty seven. Okay. So when the sprite is clicked, it should come and sit on Harper's head. But before that, we have to make sure that when the flag is clicked, it is in its position. So, when the flag is clicked, it should be in X 207 and Y 111. Okay. Now, when I click the sprite, it's going and sitting on Harper's head. But, I would like it to move gracefully. So, I am going to make it glide one second to this position. So let's see now. Clicking the flag. Okay, now it's gliding slowly and it looks very beautiful. Okay, now we have coded this. And sometimes uh, the bow might go behind Harper's head. So to prevent that from happening, we have to go to an option called go to front layer it's right here so when the sprite is clicked glide one second to x y and go to front layer so now it won't go and hide behind harper's head so we have to repeat this to every single sprite over here so for the dress when the flag is clicked it should go to uh, it should go to x and y and when the sprite is clicked it should glide to harper's body right here so let's see uh, okay it should glide one second to Harper's body and we have to make sure to uh, put glide to front layer 
if we don't the dress might go and fit on harper's uh, it will go and hide behind harper so we have to make sure that you do that okay now let's check again now as uh, now that you see when you click on the flag everything goes where it wants to uh, where it should be but we haven't coded the rest yet so it will take some time to do that i'm clicking on the yellow frock it's slowly going and fitting on harper's body okay that's good now we'll talk about the shoes okay so the shoes were here oh i almost forgot we're going in order so the glass is next so when flag is clicked we have to set its position to x 91 and minus 149y okay now when the sprite is clicked it should go and fit on harper's eyes like this okay i think the heart glasses would look more better if it's it was smaller so i'm changing it to 75 let's see how it looks i think it looks too big still okay how about 60 Okay, they are too small. Sixty-five. Okay, they're just right. Perfect. Now, I am going to try to fit it on Harper's eyes. Okay. I think it will look more. I think it will look more better if I change it to seventy. Okay, now that's nice. Now, when the sprite is clicked, glide one second to X, this and Y that. Okay. Okay, wait. I think it'll look better with seventy-five. Sorry for all the confusion. Okay, that's it. Now, let's. Oh, in the front layer. See, I keep forgetting. Okay. go to the front layer now let's try again the glasses okay they're going and fitting perfectly okay now the pants so when flag is clicked go to x this and y that and when sprite is clicked Okay now we're going to go fit the pants on Okay Go uh, glide one second to x this and y that Now go to front layer So that's done and the shorts um okay now we've finished the pants we'll check all of them later together now the shoes now okay the shoes it looks like the shoes are getting camouflaged in the pink background so i'm going to change the um down part of the shoes to purple or something like that something more not pink how about red no um blue greenish blue mm i think we'll go with purple but it's still camouflaging a little so i'm going to make it a little darker okay now it isn't camouflaging so when flag is clicked go to x this and y oh, oh okay i forgot to set it there okay so x x this and y that
and when sprite is clicked okay when sprite is clicked glide one second to x this and y that okay and we forgot to put the go to front layer we are almost done and now the shots when flag is clicked go to x y when sprite is clicked glide one second to let's put on the shots and see glide one second to x and y go to front layer okay now we are almost done uh, let me make them all go back to their positions personally i like this dress the best because it looks so beautiful on harper and the skirt is too long though so i'm changing it to 75 now it looks perfect okay so when the flag is clicked go to x and y when sprite is clicked glide one second to x and y and not to f we shouldn't forget go to front layer now the glasses perfect when the flag is clicked and when the sprite is clicked go to front layer and glide one second to and oh no okay when flag is clicked go to x zero and y minus eight this is the last item okay so when flag is clicked go to x and y when sprite is clicked go to um When sprite is clicked, glide one second to X and Y and not to forget, go to the front layer. Okay, we have officially completed everything. Now let's check everything out. Oh no, we forgot something. Um, It looks like the dress and the glasses look, um, they're too close together so... I'm going to change the X position of X and Y position of the glasses right over here. Then flag clicked, go to 2 and minus 29. Okay, now they look nice. And I think it will look more better if the bow tie was down here. Uh, one second. Okay, if the bow tie was down here, don't you think? So, I'm changing that too. Okay, now we'll see if everything works. Now I'm clicking on everything. They glide. I'm just putting them on. I'm putting everything on. As you can see, the front layer thing really works. Everything glow goes in front of everything. Okay, now... If I click the flag, everything goes back.
Now it will be nice if we added a little more music into this. So I'm going into sounds and going into choose a sound. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm just testing out every single sound. Mm. I think I'm gonna go with Dan Celebrate. And I'm deleting the other sound. So I'm gonna make I'm gonna add this sound to Harper. So when flag clicked, I'm gonna put a forever loop so that it keeps going until the game ends. And play sound, not pop. Oh no, I think I just deleted the wrong song. Okay, I better choose it again. Dance, celebrate, dance around, dance, celebrate, okay. This is what I want. Forever loop and play sound, dance, celebrate until done. Now let's see. Okay, now we officially completed our project and it looks amazing. Final review. As you can see, it works amazing. And thank you guys for watching. Hope you like. Uh, hope you like my video. And if you want more videos like this, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.